We've got Mr. Gordon Haskell in here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you know the name by now. He's the man who's very nearly getting the number one this Christmas. I, don't think, I, don't I still think, think he's going to do it. I don't think he will, but I, you know, I, I wish you well. But if he, do, I, you know, what we should do because we've got a bet going on. Yeah, hundred pounds. Yeah, to charity. If he goes to number one, I have to give hundred pounds to charity. Yeah. If he, and if he doesn't, you do. Why don't we just say we go and we'll both give hundred pounds to charity? All right, that's nice. And isn't that nicer? Nice. No, well, that's a nicer thing to do. Yeah. That's much nicer. Gordon Haskell, I've got a, an email about you, Gordon. Yeah. By the way, congratulations. It's not from Interpol. No, it's, <laughs> no, it's not from Interpol. It says uh, there's someone called um, Mark Sawyer's has emailed us and said back in the seventies he took a, a school you were allowed to take when you were studying music you were allowed to take albums in. It was a way of kind of avoiding work, I think. And he took a Stackridge album in once. Um, and he wanted to play No One's More Important Than The Earthworm, which was written by none other than... Me. Mr Gordon Haskell. How did that go? No One's More Important Than The Earthworm. Could we have a tiny yeah. burst there? Um, it had a funny beginning. I haven't played that for a long time. Hang on. I like the sound of that. That's how it started. But how did the vocal line go? What was the actual theme of the song? I can sit on sands by the sea and see the Vikings. Well, why wasn't that number one? <laughs> <laughs> well, well I think the answer's in the title, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it, made one. <laughs> hey, it made whistle tests. It made whistle tests. Did you get a whistle test with it? Yeah. Man, Stackbridge. We had an email about Stackbridge mm. a while ago. There's all these kind of bands out there who were kind of bubbling under for years, never quite really made it. It was a green record. Worms, you see, worms are very important. So Have Nick? you been to Worm World? I, no, I haven't, and I feel see see Worm World. I'm hoping that they fun have fun for all the family. I'm hoping they have a man in a worm suit walking around <laughs> or, or wriggling around to try and amuse see, the youngsters. See worms in their natural environment. <laughs> yeah, you can do that in my garden. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Gordon, congratulations, though. But this is Thanks. a kind of a late bloom for you, isn't it? You've been banging away for years. Well, that's none of your business. <laughs> Musically speaking, obviously. <laughs> We'll get back out of funny Indians in a minute. <laughs> We've had a lot of close calls today. Um, and, uh, but now this is, this is happening for you, which is fantastic. And you do yes. have an incredible voice. Thank you. So well done on that. Thanks a lot. Who's this young fella you brought along? This is a wonderful Paul Young saxophone player. <laughs> Not Paul Young, Retro the singer, man. we should point out. This is Jung. A, yeah. He spells his name a funny way. Jung. Yeah. Are you Chinese? My grandfather, I'm a quarter Chinese. And you've got, uh, you've got a very old-looking saxophone there. Yeah, it's a bit rusty, and um, but now... Gordon's in the money, he's promised to buy me a new But one. I wouldn't bother because, let's face it, you're looking at the saxophone, which looks all old and beaten up, and then you look at Gordon, the two go together. <laughs> no, seriously, it's a perfect compliment. You both look like you've lived a little, and there's still a bit of life left in you, and that's why we love it. You know, we don't want you coming in with a shiny new plastic saxophone. Who do you think you are, Ornette Coleman? No. You're Paul Jung. Jung. Don't you forget it. <laughs> um, the, are you going to do the single for us now? Are you going to perform uh, it live for us? Gordon's taking his shoes off. Is this a prerequisite to playing? <laughs> well, it's, it's silly spell. It's comfy, isn't it? Getting comfy. I'm You're glad. Relaxed, it's nice. you know? And were you with King Crimson for a while? Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you know that the, they were a brilliant band? Yeah. Um, Robert Fripp was a genius. In the Hall of the Mountain yeah, the, King. He's the that. only person that made me sound like Donald Duck. <laughs> what, on purpose? I don't know. Was, this, when, this, was, was this the way you were produced, or was, did he grab something while you were singing? <laughs> Possibly. Yeah, a little bit of both. He, well, they are strange band kings, yeah. though. They're another band who've had... See, Gorson, Gordon's a Dorset boy as well. Is he? Yeah. When you called him Gorson, then... <laughs> that some sort of Dorset Greek? Yeah, no, that's the way we that. do it. We change the name and put an son on the end. Gordon, well, I'll, 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 cave, from the caves. I'll apologise for the oppo. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from uh, Litchit Minster. Oh, yeah. We're very, very, we've sold out in Midsummer Norton this Have morning. Have you? Yeah. Fantastic. Can I just point That's out, this is possibly the dullest conversation <laughs> I've had to sit in here all well, year. Well, I woke up and I said, this is going to be a dull stuff. day. <laughs> you get those, don't you? There's nothing yeah, you can do about it. I don't know what to do about it. But Gordon, we try I not to wake up. Them. I think I was speaking. <laughs> uh, see, this is my nightmare guest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he manages to get a word in. Yeah, and also the problem is he's been around long enough to know that it doesn't matter what I say back. You know? <laughs> Gordon, um, yeah, congratulations though. It is fabulous. You, you must. Uh, when the single first called on, when I mean, I think Radio Two started championing. I think it was Kim Boos, was it? And uh, Johnny played it first. Johnny Walker played it first. Uh, your boss, yeah, I mean Colin Martin, uh, picked up on it. He, he was going home. Yeah. And he, he had Radio 2 on. That was it, odd, wasn't it, for a well, Thursday? It's very odd. I think, you know, but people normally do listen to it in the, uh, the other drive time, but they don't admit to it so much. And then it, uh, all the emails started coming. And, and Get him you, off. Was it you were on your own little label at the time? Is that right? Yeah, uh, Ian Brand's label, Flying Sparks. He, um, he's the uh, Florence Nightingale of the Swill, because <laughs> he was a pig farmer four years ago. And now you're what? Now you're on a bigger label now? Are you still with that label? I mean, who, who's actually pumping the record out now? Uh, no, we uh, we managed to get advanced sales of 200,000, and then wow. we sold to um, 
east-west because they can push buttons across the uh, pond. Of course, you need people who can get behind it. This is a fantastic kind of story. It's a real sort of triumph against, you know, just years of, of banging away there. Once again, I use that phrase perhaps ill advisedly. But, you know, really keep it going. It's fantastic that you're finally getting the acclaim and you're getting the respect and people are buying your stuff. No. <laughs> you see, I, can you make a note? Yeah. You, see, you, you can see. Do, 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 yeah. you want to know why this guy's languished in obscurity? For years? <laughs> I'll give you one word: attitude. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's attitude. Gordon, I'm sorry, you've got no one but yourself to blame. No, I, know. I now, I now know exactly how Robert Fripp felt. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to sing for us now, are you? I'll try. I can't wait to hear live. It's a fabulous single. Here we go. This is Gordon Haskell. But you see all that fast talk. Uh, so all Golden, that, fast I was just, that was a lovely intro. No, then no, 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 no. All that fast talk. You've got to be really relaxed. Should we get the song? mood going to get the vibe going. More of a jazz. Take a big uh, deep breath. <laughs> oh, you listen to Radio 2 uh, 88 and 91 FM. This is. Uh, I don't just so and finish yet. <laughs> <laughs> if we're working together as a team, yeah, okay. then we've got some eye contact. Oh, this, look that's in my eyes, and I'll give you, I'll yeah. give you that Anne Robinson wink when it's ready to go. Oh, my God. Okay, do a bit of music. <laughs> 88 FM. It's a John and Ross Saturday morning show. <coughs> With me, Oppo, Andy. Another Dorset boy about to break you now. It's Gordon Haskell. I go out most nights Attracted by the lights Listen to the jazz in Harry's bar song do you know how wonderful you are it's a sentimental sound make me want to fool around with somebody who is wishing on a star I pull my hat down low go up and say hello Conversation, and there'll be those for whom the song has no appeal. But I know it works for me, and I'm sure you will agree that it illustrates exactly how I feel. Things can happen fast. Some things are built to last I've seen it all go down in Harry's bar But we've only just begun The show will run and run Do you know how wonderful you are? Conversation, and there be those for whom the song has no appeal. But I know it works for me, and I'm sure you will agree that it illustrates exactly how I feel. Things can happen fast. Some things are built to last I've seen it all go down in Harry's bar Though we only just begun This show will run and run Do you know how wonderful you are? Do you know how wonderful
Wow, that's fantastic. Fantastic. What a superb life forms, and I wish you could have been here to see it, ladies and gentlemen, because Gordon's left leg was working the room. <laughs> it was like watching Dustin Hoffman in Wayne Man. It was off on its own. <laughs> that's a weird thing going on there. Are you aware of that? Or is that he's <laughs> kicking up in the air and he's stomping with it and he's, <laughs> he's going underneath and over and sideways? No wonder he took his shoes off. Mm. If he'd have kicked that up, he would have flown off in the end, caught you in the eye. That was, Gordon, that sounded fantastic. <laughs> That was, <laughs> but that was great. Have you got a whole album of those, or is it just a single? Uh, no, there's lots of good I songs. I can't wait. And really, I January can't wait. January the seventh. January the seventh. And are you going to be January touring and gigging? January and stuff? the seventh. <laughs> That's not such a good song. <laughs> well, and you're going to be touring next year, are you? Uh, April. Wow. Yeah, we yeah, no. see, see, I think you know. This afternoon, if you went out now, we could actually. I don't care about the charity bet. It should be number one rather than Robbie. Yeah, I yeah, like Robbie. I, I would you know, rather see Gordon at number one as well. Yes. Just so, just so we get to see that left leg going on yeah. top of the pops. But Gordon, are you allowed to go on top of the pops at your age? Because then they got the kind of curve. No, seriously, they've got this sort of deal going on. Like Radio 1, they said you're too old for Radio... No, Virgin, they said you're too old for, didn't they? Yeah, do you know what I said? What did you say? Can you repeat it politely? <laughs> you said, not come. You said Banjax. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> My radio was two. We used to work there. Radio 2. Just Radio 2, so yeah. I think. It's when you're too old for Radio 2, you've got to worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did Top of the Pops. We did, oh. it, we did it on uh, Thursday, and uh, I think it's going to be shown next week. Fantastic. Did it in mm. tuxedos. Yeah, we well, look really smart. I'm sure I you still did. look old, though. <laughs> Although, you're standing up in a tuxedo. Did anyone come up and say, can I have another glass of wine, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm lost for words now. You don't have to be. No, I, it's a, it, is, it is a dull day to, but for it, me. I'm, I'm sorry. So, uh, Gordon, I'm so sorry. pleased it's happening for you, because it must be so frustrating knowing you can do that, knowing you can create such a fantastic live sound and then not have the chance to actually, you know, reach an audience with it. Mm. Must it's, uh, nuts. it's been a great year, hasn't it? Yeah, well, it has. Mm. And congratulations. And you, you look well, too. Thank you very much. In fact, you look really nice. Like, I, I, I've seen you on TV, you know, oh. and I thought I wasn't sure about him. Am I, <laughs> I like him, am I better looking in the flesh, Gordon? Yeah, you are. I was a bit worried, because you know he was singing Wonderful Tonight? Yeah. Did you see the deep eye contact he was making with me while he was singing that? <laughs> I, bet, I think I've pulled. It's not Wonderful Tonight. <laughs> well, it's roughly that. You know I me, mean, I've got lyric blindness. I can't remember a song. For, that's why I can't sing with you. <laughs> yeah. Not the only reason. Also, the guitar playing was superb. Thank mm. you very much. And the sax was OK. Yeah. No, oh, Paul Young. Paul well, at the end, he was just going... <laughs> <laughs> Paul Young's got loads of jokes. He's got loads of jokes. Time. If only we had the time. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Christmas, guys. Congratulations. Thanks, I'm so delighted for you. Thanks. And uh, come on next year if you can and do some more stuff for us. You're kidding. That would be lovely. Really? Please do. Come on, you can do it. I'm far too busy. <laughs> come on, I, want, I want the full the worm, how wonderful <laughs> worms are tonight. That was, it's called. Uh, green. 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 <laughs> Let's have a whole green hour of the show. <laughs> Gordon Haskell, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks a lot.